Hello my friends and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. At the end, or near the end of yesterday's video, we did come back to the Empress de Leon and we did kill one of the three dragons that are out here. And in today's video, our goal is to kill the other two dragons out here and hopefully finish the Empress de Leon section and tomorrow move on to something else because I have a list of things we need to do before we can go back to the main quest because I have a feeling it's kind of the end like we're, ne we're near the end now um and I also did take a minute to level up my companions and I did get more healing potions and healing mist bombs and all the things to actually be prepared this time because I don't feel like I was as prepared yesterday as I should have been so in theory it will go better <laughs> hopefully cross fingers but it looks like first, before we can get up to this amphitheater, we need to kill more Red Templars, who are level 22. This must definitely be the, like, end game section of, of the game. <laughs> There's the whole thought. I don't even think Hissing Waste was even this high a level. It's not everywhere. Although it hasn't been level 22 everywhere here. Okay, so we need to claim the second tower for the Inquisition, so let's do that. And it's... here it is. So if I come back, will the Inquisition people be here? Maybe? And there's a landmark. <laughs> and that's the last of the landmarks here. So Leon Tyne's steward. The statues decorating the pools of the sun depict Havard, Aegis of the Faith, and Disciple of Andraste bearing the prophet's ashes to safety. I remember this story. However, when Grand Duchess Leo Tyne commissioned the statues for placement around the hot springs, she recommended her steward Bellamy to the sculptor for use as a model. Rumor has it that Stuart Bellamy was Leo Tyne's lover, and she wished to see his heroic form wherever she turned. Okay. Uh, Leo Tyne commissioned at least a hundred of the statues <laughs> from the Highlands of Relay by Lord Adhemar Gard, Haute Royal Historian. That's funny. <laughs> Okay, all right. Getting psyched up for I another dragon fight. one of the artifacts of my people. Of course you do. Regis and the em Empress, almost done with those two. I imagine your artifact, Solus, is up at the top with the dragon. Along with the Ocularum. Let me save just in case oh my she is right there she is huge wow you are so pretty what are you allergic to fire vulnerability um greater cold resistance again so another frost dragon okay let's try and do this properly again and get bull to Maybe you will charge the dragon. Today is a good day. Today is a very good day. Maybe. Oh, I don't like being here. I don't like being here at all. Oh, I don't like being here at all. Someone is going to get eaten by her. Oh no! And Solus. I should have switched out. I keep forgetting to switch out Solus and bring Dorian, but it's okay. Oh, Sarah. Okay. Bad placement. My bad. Nope. Let's just take a healing potion. And then you need to come over here, my dear. And then Solus. I think you need to do the same. And. Yep. Oh no, this one has armor. 
And you two are in a bad spot again. Okay, let's try this again. And Bull, can you? You've already got our attention. Okay. I don't like being this close. I don't like being this close. <laughs> At all. Okay, you guys need to... Um, healing bomb, please. Maybe I'll do a healing bomb uh, or not. Whoa, Sarah, you are just so ready to just get squashed, aren't you? Okay, come over here. Maybe. There we go. You need to do the, the healing mist has come and gone. Oh my god, this dragon really is interested in Zareth. To this point to where I can't even like do anything. Where did Solus go? There he is. Um, well, Sarah and I will give you a bubble. Well, I guess you're on your own again, or you're still doing this I'm stuck thing. Solus, do you want to come participate? You're stuck too. Hmm. Let's all bubble together. Okay, well, how about... I'll take care of... I'll, I'll... Get her attention for you. Okay, now you attack her. Oh, now she's dying real fast. Wow, she's dying real fast. Sarah, dearest, come over here. Well, I'll bubble. Oh, oh. Sorry, Sarah. Here, I'll, I'll healing bomb us all. Although Solus, if you can re us, that would be X. The yeah, it's already used. Never mind. <laughs> Bull just sort of takes it. Okay, let me be Iron Bull again. So that seemed to work well last time. And Solus really wants to. Uh, really wants to uh, take that dragon on one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> huh. Where is Sarah at? Solus, you already used your bubble again. Okay. If just land, that'd be excellent. Fine. She's so pretty. Oops, I forgot to rebubble us. My bad. My bad. Okay. Come on, Iron Bull, let's get her attention. Nope, let's move her over here. There we go. Okay, now you can do whatever it is that you want to do. Oh. We are all so stinking close to her, though. It's bad. It's just... She's leaving again? Ugh. This is... Oh, she left babies behind. Oh 
dear. Sorry, Sarah. Huh. Sarah, she really doesn't like you. I'm just saying, I don't know what you did to dragons in your past life, but she really don't like you. All right, let's give us all a bubble. And that's trying to just power through, power through. Kill, kill. She's almost dead. Yay! We did it! That was pretty horrible. Oh, no, did we not do it? Oh. Poor dragon. Oh, well. Seven of ten, and what loot do we get? Ooh, a sword, potions belt, masterwork prowler armor. Interesting. This is some good armor. I'll tell you that much. All right. Let's look for our last shards, I think. There are, oh, seven? Oh my goodness, that's gonna take forever. Two. Oh, three, four, oh dear, five, all right, there's six, finally got the seventh one. Wow, that really took way longer. I like saved and reloaded. It was really not friendly this time around, but seven shards, seven. Seven shards to go back and get. I will not. <laughs> I will spare you that <laughs> that nonsense and and do it do it off camera, uh, as it were. So uh, one dragon down, one more to go. Hopefully we can go to done today. Um, but that fight took <laughs> that fight was way clunkier than I expected it to be, to be honest. So uh, let's head down and just keep making our way over. There is another rift. There is another tower to get, and there's another dragon to get, so. There's an elven artifact nearby. Oh yeah, I didn't get it, did I? Well, I'm, I'm okay with that. Worst case, I'll come back for it later. Okay. Oh look, my inquisition signs are all up. Lovely. And my inquisition people do show up. All's well, it seems. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, there's a path over here. Um, but I need to go this way for the rift, so let's do that first. And then there's the tower, it looks like. And then, all right, let's do these spare demons first. And that uh, spare demon, I totally missed. Just spewing her frozen crap at me. Ouch. There, take a rock to the face. Sarah's all the way back there. <laughs> okay, we have despair demons times three, it looks like. You'd think he'd know better. <laughs> You'd think I'd program it better, but I, I didn't. <laughs> That's on me. 
Nice job, Bo. Maybe, maybe. Okay, that helped. Good lord, they jump all over the place. And Rifts in the Springs is now complete. Is there anything over here? No, there wasn't. Ooh, there's silver, right? I have, like, so much power, it's kind of obnoxious. <laughs> Alright, let's save and head to this tower. And take care of, wow, two behemoths, looks like. Yep. Hi, guys. Oh, crap. What was that? It was like the rushing bull for like red Templar behemoths. Red. Holy crap, I've never seen that before. When did that start happening? Alright, the third tower is here. So let's grab that. Intense, Red Lyrium. It's intense. Most weird sound. Securing the safe passage is now complete. Great. So now we only have two things left here. We have to kill the last dragon, the Highland Ravager. And then I have to go get all the shards, but I'll do that after today. So let's see. She's probably down here somewhere, right? The Untine's Ring completes the regions in the Empress. I don't actually see her. Huh. Well, she's got to be down there. There was that path over this way. Let's save. We've got, hopefully, cross fingers, plenty of time to do this. <laughs> as long as it's not like a 20 minute dragon fight, that'd be really boring. That'd be really embarrassing. Shiny Dawn Stone. Oh, my Dragon, Dragon stuff. Oh, I hear her. She's asleep. Oh. What is she allergic to? She's 23. She's allergic to cold, so that's great. I have solace. Just no fire this time. Okay. Okay, she's 23. I'm, I'm, what am I? I think I just leveled. I'm 23. My friends are barely 22. So, all right, well, let me level and then we'll go take care of this dragon. All right, so I did level and I grabbed another ice spell. So let's um, save and do this. <laughs> oh. All right, Bull, it's kind of on you, man. You uh, need to go get her attention. Uh, go charge and bull her. Alright, 
right, we can do this. Let's all just stay here. So let's now be the perfect time to use your ice crap. Okay, Solus and Sarah. Again, the dragons really do like you two. And Solus, let's move you here. And then back to me. And I will get out of the way. Oh, dear, she's, um, oh dear. Okay, let's um, just do what we can do. No, oh, 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 oh. You're okay, it's just a little fire. It's all right. Oh, oh, let's not stand in those circles of death. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> them both again. I got him. Okay, great. Sorry, I'm just very much concentrating on my friends and not letting them die. Okay. We're a little close, but it's alright. I have faith. Alright, I'm gonna bubble all three of us again. Wow. That blizzard is so awesome! <laughs> Do you see how fast she went down? <laughs> Just power through, power through. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll heal us all. Um, and then I'll bubble us all. Okay, we're probably standing in those eat bad circles. I helped, I helped with my little frost belts too, but so was this one was all you. <laughs> oh, dang. Um, Sarah, let's see if I, I can bubble faster than the fireball. Nope. Hey, Sarah, why don't you use bees on the dragon? That might be funny. Right? Oh, circles of death, circles of death. Oh, Solus. Get out of the circle of death. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> Sorry, I missed it. <laughs> I kept saying circles of death so much, my cell phone went off and was looking it up for me, I guess. <laughs> That's hilarious. And breeding ground is complete, and we are eight of ten dragons, and I know where the other two are. So we're gonna go do that. Oh, Duke's mane. Ooh, that's cool. Of course, I can't wear it. Keeper robe, superior guard belt, walking dagger, and masterwork battle mage armor. That's nice armor. I may take that for myself. All right. Well, um, I am going to go collect shards, but I'm not going to make you tag along with me for that. So I will meet you back in Skyhold once um, I have finished all of that. And here we are back in Skyhold. I did finish finding all of those shards in the Empress de Leon, and as far as I can tell, we are done there, for now anyway. <laughs> I did also spend quite a bit of time doing inventory management, rearranging gear, tinting gear. I also had to level people up. There was a couple of my companions who had like three, four, or five talent points, so yeah, I was a little behind in that. <laughs> So with the little bit of time left that I have today, I do want to go into the war council and work on the war table because we're getting to the point where we're just sort of cleaning up a few more things and then we're back on the main quest, I believe. Oh yeah, Inquisition perks. So I wanted to do, there was rare stocks that I got last time. So I wanted to try exacting buyers to see what I get. Um, I'm not sure if it's like a make it or break it sort of thing, but 
that's what I'm going to go with. All right, so I don't have anything new in Ferelden, but in Orlay, I know I had at least one new one. Bestow Morning Hala. I think this came after I went to visit the Dalish after we went, we did the Elven Ruins thing yesterday. We finished that yesterday, yeah. <laughs> yesterday seems so long ago, even though it genuinely was just yesterday. Anyway, Bestow Morning Hala. Uh, Inquisitor, in light of the information you gave us regarding the truth of the events at Red Crossing, we would like to offer a sign of mourning to the village. Since both sides played a part in this tragedy, honoring the village with one of our Hala seems appropriate. If it could be kept there, it might remind both sides of the fragile beauty of things that journey to places where they are strangers. I understand that the villagers of Red Crossing do not trust the Dalish, given our history. If you could convince them to accept this tribute in good faith, it would be greatly appreciated. Keeper Hawen. So Cullen says, if it is if it is this important, we can march the Blessed Hala in with some troops to guard it. I mean... If we want them to take a gift, coming with armed forces doesn't really seem appropriate. Liliana says, with the right rumors, the villagers in Red Crossing will think they are being granted custody of a captured trophy to honor their victory over the Dalish. Huh? And Josephine, I can twist the noble who controls Red Crossing into accepting this, but it will end two marriages and lead to at least one duel. Why are all these options awful? Like, they should just say thank you for the holla. Um, well, I don't want marriages ending in duels, so let's just go with Liliana, I guess. Sister of Liliana, everything went according to plan. The holla was brought in under banners, and the villagers of Red Crossing believe they have been given the, the honor of keeping hostage a holla that is sacred to the Dalish because of their proud history. The Dalish have no idea that the gift of mourning is being taken as a trophy won in victory, but if it cools tempers on both sides, so much the better. Uh, both Red Crossing and the Dalish have been most grateful peddler. I mean, it's fine. I mean, I can see, I can see it. I can see how doing it Liliana's way works out now, but. So I have one more table quest left so far anyway, um, and it's support Vivienne. And I've been kind of on the fence about, I, I think I missed the boat with Cassandra and that's, I, she, in all reality, I think she probably would have been better, but, um, cause she, better because she wants to, at least if I'm remembering correctly, she wants to reform the church and make it, or the chantry, not church. She wants to reform the chantry and make it better, bring it back to what it was supposed to do. Uh, Liliana just wants to change everything, um, which always goes over well. And Vivian's a mage, <laughs> so, um, which is an interesting option to be honest. And I'm, and, and that's why I'm going to lean towards doing it. I know I told Liliana that I would support her and I was all into it, but now she's all ruthless and vicious and not that sweet chantry girl we met in Dragon Age Origins. And I know I was in Origins, I was telling her to go back to her roots and you know, it was okay to be a bard and to be a spy. And I feel like that's okay. But I feel like what she is right now is so not okay. She needs to take, she needs a vacation. <laughs> she needs a vacation, to be honest. So in order to counteract that, because I really don't want Liliana, I'm hoping if I support Vivienne, it will counteract me verbally telling her, because I'm not sure how this all works out and it's fine. So anyway, uh, support Vivienne. The Inquisition will have to provide any support for Vivienne as the Chantry's choice for the next divine quietly. Traditionally, the Chantry looks on open declarations with der derision, so they can be counterproductive, but a few words in the right ears can be very effective. Note, once the Inquisition gives it support, it cannot also give, it, give support to anyone else. So Josephine says, I know just the people to inform with the application of some political pressure, your point can easily be made. All right, I'm going to do it. Let's just do it. I can do other playthroughs where I, I apparently can pick the other. I have to do at least two more times to pick one Cassandra and one Liliana. Although I feel like this game could be played dozens of times and each time would be different, but that's a whole other tangent. Let us begin. Okay, news of your support for Vivian has made its way to the clerics sequestered in the Grand Cathedral Inquisitor. Just how much it will influence their decision remains to be seen, Josephine. Okay, look, the war table is done as of right now. 
<laughs> it's probably gonna like, I'm probably gonna get a whole bunch more requests or operations later, but it's done as of right now. So my plan going forward is that, first of all, I need to go back to the um, Forbidden Oasis, I believe it's called, and finish that temple, you know, unlock all the doors. Now that I have all the shards, I feel like that's, we should be able to get through that one more time and be done with it. Then there is also two more dragons that I have to go kill. Um, I hopefully would like to do, whoa, Cassandra disapproves. Eeks. Um, hopefully I would like to do all three of those things tomorrow, but I'm slow and there's dragon fights and I got to get there. So who, who knows? And then after that, I want to do another um, round robin with all of my companions. And then we're off to main questing, I think, because that should be it outside of like some requisition orders. But what will be, will be with those. Anyway, now that you've started the back of Theron's head for the last two minutes. <laughs> so that's my plan. And this is where we're going to end things. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe. And I will see you again tomorrow with another new Dragon Age Inquisition video.